Hey everybody, welcome back. Ham ha, pool goers. Let's uh, let's solve the totem pole or four. Let's do that. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait, go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big <laughs> lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is <laughs> going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. <laughs> You're getting soft, Sam. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Whoa. Hints, I guess. Yeah. How'd you and Trixie meet, anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she snuck into the freak tent and sang me to sleep with a Scranton's lullaby. <laughs> 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 and you want to put him back in a block of ice? <laughs> yeah! So, I give up. <laughs> so is Scranton closer to a Be seeing you. Or, or a fellow? Uh, I see you first. I, I would have guessed it was in New Jersey. but Oh, I it's probably sure. in New Jersey. Scranton, Pennsylvania, Scranton, New Jersey. Scranton, New Jersey. I guess I don't know which of those sounds better to me. Yeah, I don't either. Huh. What is this, some kind of tornado? Maybe. Where we, where we go find the job back here. Uh, where's the hot tub so we can talk to the chief? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was back there at that gazebo looking thing, but I don't know how to get back there. Hmm. Can we talk to the chief? I think so. I mean, if we if I had not played this before, I guess I would have no reason to expect that. Right, but yeah. I'm pretty sure there's another room here somewhere. Okay. Uh, oh, out the back. Door. Oh, out the back, okay. What a weirdly laid out hotel. Yeah, oh wait, can we... Uh, <laughs> Conroy on ice. We're supposed to do anything with that? Let's put them back before they melt, Max. <laughs> okay. Good idea. I think they make an excellent still life. Okay, and this is cartoon logic, so we didn't just do two murders. <laughs> It's also Sam and Max, so nobody cares. <laughs> Good point. Can I not go out there? Come on. Huh. Uh, is this door not a real door? Maybe it's not a real door. I can't pick that up. Uh, I guess not. Uh, I guess not. I guess you wouldn't go through the kitchen to get the hot tub anyway. Yeah, I mean, that was why I was thinking this was a weirdly laid out hotel. Uh. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe we just... Solve some totem puzzles? It's a gourd solve, that solve looks some just totem like... poles, yeah. Because this one's clear. <laughs> pretty, I can't use these obvious. things together. I don't uh, think he'd want that. No, I guess not. Uh, it looks like he's roasting a marshmallow. Oh, here we go. Maybe. There we go. There we go. There we go.
Can you spare a second? Not really. But since you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? What you know, else were you I'm doing? I'm really anxious about this whole totem pole thing. It'll work. Trust me. I met Anxious once. He's the one with the drool in his beard. That wasn't Anxious. It was your cotton candy. <laughs> well, that certainly clears up one mystery. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm still having nightmares about alligators. I know that everyone involved with this extraordinary quest has had their demons to contend with. But let me make one thing perfectly clear. It'll be worth it. Okay. Hack! He said quest! <laughs> I think my furry little body may break out in a rash of unsightly hives. We'll be back. I'll be here. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. With this squash? <laughs> the combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? <laughs> <laughs> it was soup before. <laughs> you got a stew going. <laughs> and uh, what was the other one that I think we've got? Um, oh, yeah, this one. Hey, Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah, w what is it? <laughs> Is it soup yet? <laughs> Hair growth tonic. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's some dinosaur or something, something. Yep. Dinosaur something something and a uh, whirlwind. Okay. I had tickets to see Dinosaur Something Something in the Whirlwind, but then the pandemic happened. <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Gotta go get our ice pick bent. That's right. Oh, it seems like so long ago that we were back at the big ball of twine with no idea what to do. Right? And here it is again. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Shake a leg, Max. Shake a leg, Max. It's an ice pick. It's an ice pick. Could you bend this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. <laughs> Let's see it. Hmm. <laughs> How 
How's that? <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> that seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? <laughs> For this poison? Don't be silly. That seems to have capped the snow globe. Why did we need to cap the snow globe again, Riff? Uh, I can't pick you'll, that up. You'll see shortly. Okay. Well, I also sell seashells by the seashore. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. It's been my lifelong dream. Oh, I just dropped an egg. Oh, no. What? What? You... What? What were you doing with eggs? <laughs> it's not a real egg. Oh, <laughs> They're Wait. rolled under my desk and I can't get to it. Wait, no, now I have more questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any more answers. Uh, oh, no. We'll never know, listeners. Is it going to hatch into something? <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be fake. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Like that quacking. Yeah, it's not a good quacking. That might be a good idea, but perhaps I should wait until the vortex uh, is running. Okay. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I don't think she'd want that. I mean, she might, considering she <laughs> she requires the pseudo-mystical energies of the vortex for her job. Yeah. But oh well. Still seems pretty weird in here, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think we got all of them. I think we just got some of them. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Still quacking. Somewhere between a quack and a honk. Quonk? Quonk. I guess this place operates on quantum physics. That was a bad uh, joke. That, mm, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, what was, what was I the got the last one. I got oh, the yeah. whistle, everybody. Explicitly remember how this last bit works. Mm. Uh, we haven't used this yet. Oh. Well, there's an animation for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't take it anywhere. is so accommodating. <laughs> we couldn't have just 
walked here with the rope? We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? Oh. Nothing but. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, uh, if there's nothing else after this, this is going to be a short episode. Woo! Everybody. All right. Buckle in. Maybe you can splice in half an Uro episode. <laughs> I'd prefer not, not to lose <laughs> half of our viewers. <laughs> I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Yeah, oh, we'd miss there. both of them. What? We'd miss both of them, the half of our viewers. <laughs> well, we've got a good couple of dozen <laughs> we do actually we're doing good we to go back here oh my god how did so you do it to you totally did this. it before how, oh my there god go. <laughs> how many people get to this point and just never yeah, find out that kidding. there's another place to go yeah a non-zero number No, don't leave. Don't you dare <laughs> don't fucking leave. leave. You'll never come back. Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out one of those <laughs> baffling totem poles. It's surely not a real dinosaur. A genuine tooth. dinosaur tooth. <laughs> I figured it might be something like that. Uh. Did he say genuine? <laughs> And the mystery vortex. Mystery vortex. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. Handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Well, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but of course, how silly of me. This is all hokum what? and bunkum. <laughs> For the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd uh, be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Would, Wait, uh... <laughs> I've got an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. Would Bumpus and John Boy work? Uh -huh. <laughs> While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to uh, off themselves for the greater good. My guess is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're doing a double murder. Pretty good show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, San Francisco, I've got good news and bad news. Oh. <laughs> well, Seattle, I've got good news and bad news. Well, that 
that was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. <laughs> Yay! Goodbye, Ooh. Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. <laughs> Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols <laughs> of modern civilization in the Western United States? You bet we yep. are. <laughs> yep. Do we win a prize? Well. Oh, why not? <laughs> this medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Woo! Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> foil covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. <laughs> well. I could give you my ritual headdress that <laughs> I bought at Snucky's last week. <sighs> I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine too. Farewell, <laughs> Sam and Max. <laughs> Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. <laughs> Have a nice day. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp <laughs> hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. <laughs> Bruno! How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward <laughs> we need. <laughs> that and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 ski ball tickets? Huh, that's not Close bad. enough. Let's go, Max. You can get maybe like a you big know, Max, inflatable hammer. I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered <laughs> with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their <laughs> disgusting lifestyles, then so be it. <laughs> mm. You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that's Sam and Max. That's Sam and Max! What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah, that was definitely a video game. <laughs> It was pretty good. I like the first half better than the, uh, than the last Bigfoot half. Bigfoot stuff starts happening in earnest. Yeah. It's not not really as interesting. I, I don't have any particular interest in Bigfoots. I also don't. But uh, Sam and Max themselves, and as as a as a general thing, is always good for a laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you may or may not have one of them tattooed on your body as we speak. This is true. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true of everybody. That's also true, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, wow, I really have no comments about this video game. <laughs> I mean, considering how old it is, it's kind of like everything you could say about it has pretty much already been said. Mm -hmm. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Yeah, I don't either. All the rest of them make sense to me, because that's Skybrush, that's the Purple Pinnacle. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just, you know, generic. I don't know who the cat thing is. Yeah. Should we uh, say what the next game is going to be? Or should we if leave it you as a want surprise? to. Well, you know, now that I think about it, it's, it ceases to be a surprise as soon as you see the episode title. Oh, yeah. So, uh, next game we're going to do is uh, Hideo Kojima's Police Knots. Woo! The, the bizarre story of a cop who becomes an astronaut and falls into space and then somehow he's in Los Angeles and <laughs> he's a private eye and I don't know anything else about it and it's a Hideo all. Kojima game yes except that it's a Kojima <laughs> game so it's definitely gonna be fucking weird oh yeah so look forward to that everybody yep Oh, oh, they lied. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long this goes on for if you let it just sit. Yeah. If it says anything else. <laughs> Nothing yet. I think we can probably okay. go ahead and stop here. <laughs> Bye, Q, uh, everybody. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for hitting the road with us. And uh, like and subscribe and tell your friends. Like fruitcake!